Now it says that uh, using digit one, two, three, and five only, we have to make four digit number which are even and without repetition. So both there are two conditions. We can't repeat the digits at the same time. We have to make ensure that the digits should be even. Now let us take the very basic approach of it. So there are four places for those digits, and then one one should always look for the uh, the place wherein the uh, wherein uh, where there is a condition. The condition is here that this place has to be even digit. Right? This cannot take digit three or digit one or digit five. So for this place, the only choice left is either two or four. Fine. Either a number should end with two or it should end with four. So in total, I have two options for this place. Fine. So out of these five, one of two or four will be utilized here. So out of these five, we are left with only four digits. Now for the rest of the three digits, because zero is not given, so we don't have any restriction. So this place can be uh, uh, can be put by four ways. The next it can be put by three ways, and the next place can be put by three uh, two ways. So the overall numbers will be the product of these numbers. So it will be four into four, sixteen into three, that is forty four. So this is a simple approach which we can follow. The other approach definitely uh, just I am elaborating here because such kind of approach is very very helpful in some uh, complex question or uh, complex question than this to apply right. Now here assume that if this restriction is not given, that is we don't we are not bothered that whether the number is given or odd. We are only bothering about the number to be four digit number and there is no repeat. Uh, there is no repetition. So definitely my answer would be five four. Three and two, correct. This will be my option, which is nothing but typing. It will be so. Just let uh, let me write it here only, whatever it comes right. Now, since I have to ensure that the numbers should now, since I have to ensure that the numbers should be an even, so let us focus on this place. What all number can come at this place? One, two, three, four. And five. All these five digits can appear at the unit place. So number ending with one will be odd. Number ending with three will be odd. A number ending with five will be odd. Fine. Number ending with two and four will be even. Now, as you can see, the ratio of number ending with odd digit and number ending with even digit is three is two two. You can see that one, three, five are three numbers. Two and four, if I collect, they are two numbers. And at every place, all the digit has appeared equal number of times. That is very very important. Whether it is digit one, two, three, four, or five, and whether the place is hundred place, thousand place, tens place, or unit place, every digit is appearing equal number of times at the given place. So there will be equal number of numbers ending with one, and there will as it is ending with two or three or four or five. In fact, there will be equal number of numbers starting with one, and starting with two, starting with three, starting with four, or starting with five. Or one can be at tens place or hundred place. I hope the logic is clear. What 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 actually I want to communicate. So I can say that if this is the total number of numbers, and the odd numbers and even numbers will be in this ratio, that is three to two. That means two fifth of the total number would be even. Fine. So if I Apply this thing, then you can say that again we'll be getting the same number. So this is just a small modification in the approach of solving this question, provided all digit comes at every place equal number of time. That is very very important. And hence, whenever a digit zero is also involved, we should not be using this method, right? We should stick to this method because zero has a restriction that a zero cannot appear at the leftmost or the uh, 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 Leftmost position of the numbers. I hope these two things are clear now. Fine. Let's move to the next question then. 